Hi friends, welcome all of you back to my YouTube channel. This is Social Tech Short and Pawan. In this tutorial, I am going to guide you the process of installing Windows 10 inside of this VMware workstation. So after completely watching and following this tutorial, you also will be able to install Windows 10 inside of this application as a virtual OS without having and facing any of errors. So let's get start our video and see how we can do this. Please subscribe my YouTube channel, turn on notification and then join with me. Ok friends, firstly you need to download and install VMware workstation on your computer. You can easily download this VMware workstation for your computer from the given link in the description of this video and then you have to activate it. You can use this activation course for activate your VMware workstation. And then you need to download a Windows 10 DC image file. You can also download this DC image file from the given link in the description of this video. After that you need to open your VMware workstation and you need to click on this create a new virtual machine option to uh, create your Windows 10 uh, virtual machine. Now click on this custom advanced option and follow me. Click on next. Next. When it comes to here you need to select the Windows 10 this image file that we have downloaded. Now click on open and click on next again click on next select BIOS and uh, click on next uh, when it comes to this processor configuration option you can choose the uh, processors which you want to use with this virtual system I'm selecting two processors because my original PC has four processors so I can go up to two processors in uh, this case if you only have two processors you only can select one processor into this option now click on next when it comes to this step you need to select the RAM size of your virtual machine. In my case I recommend you to use 50% of your original RAM as the virtual machine RAM uh, for run Windows 10. In my case I have a GB RAM on my original PC so I am selecting 4 GB RAM as the virtual system RAM. But if your PC only has uh, 4 GB RAM you only can go up to 2 GB. Then click on next option. Now again click on next, next and next. Click on next. When it comes to this step you need to select the hard disk size of your virtual system. In my case I am only selecting 50 GB. If you need you can increase or decrease. So when it comes to this second step you can enable or disable it as you wish. If you have enabled it it will allocate 50 GB at once on your hard disk and uh, it will increase the performance of your virtual system but if you didn't select this tick it will not allocate this disk image size now it will increase the hard disk size of your virtual system as the disk usage but I recommend you to enable this because it will increase the performance uh, other than that if you want to share this virtual system into another computers also you can store this virtual this as a single file I am not recommend you to use this option if you don't wish to share this virtual machine into another computers because it will reduce the performance of your virtual system so if you have selected this last option it will increase the performance so I am selecting this one because I don't want to share my virtual system into another computers then click on next when it comes to this step you need to select the place where that you are planning to locate your virtual hard disk in my case I am selecting another place than the original place because it will automatically select the local disk C I need more space on local disk C because my original OS is located in C drive so I am selecting this D drive and I have already created a folder in here called new folder 2 for save this virtual disk image now I am selecting that location click on save then click on next again click on finish and you need to wait until completing of this uh, virtual disk image creation process ok friends here you can see I have successfully created windows 10 virtual system on my VMware station but I can't loan this virtual machine because there are some errors will be coming up and um, my virtual system is not starting it's closing like this so how I can solve this problem? Firstly you need to open your start menu and search for windows features like this. Now you need to open this turn 
on or off windows features option and you need to disable following features from this option you need to disable hyper-v and then you need to disable windows sandbox and windows subsystem for linux also you need to disable virtual machine platform and windows hypervisor platform now you need to press ok and wait until completing of this process after completing of this process you need to restart your pc okay parents now i have successfully restarted my pc so i'm going to uh, launch this virtual system then click on next click on install now option now click on this i don't have product key option select windows 10 pro and click on next now click on this uh, i accept the terms and license option and click on next then select custom option and select the drive and click on next again Do I gotta have it? I ain't even playing, got a really bad habit. If it moves, gotta grab it. Fuse like a magnet, lose won't have it till I'm doomed in a casket. I ain't playing, got a weird mind. If you work eight hours, I'ma work nine. If the shit tastes sour, you should taste mine. I'ma stay in power for a long time. Get up, nah, I ain't a quitter. Toss me the ball, I'm a really big hitter. Big picture, I'm a straight killer. Rass in the song to the highest bidder. Okay friends, here you can see we have successfully installed Windows 10 inside of this VMware workstation. So let's try to install the drivers into this application. You need to shut down your uh, VMware workstation and start your virtual machine once again. Now click on here. Now you can see this install tools option, then click on it. Now open your file manager. Now go to this PC option. Then run this uh, DVD drive. Okay friends, now you need to download the zip file that I added to the description of this video. Then you can move that zip file into your VMware workstation like this. Now extract your zip file. Right click now right click on this uh, CMD and run it as administrator now press 2 on your keyboard then press C ok guys here you can see we have successfully setting up everything on this windows 10 uh, that we have installed on inside of this VMware workstation so with this i'm going to wind up this video thank you all for watching this tutorial please subscribe my youtube channel turn on notification and join with me Thank you.